there's a lot of talk in education today about making mathematics hands-on. But I think as teachers, we need to be aware that sometimes hands-on doesn't always mean minds-on for our students. I want to introduce you today to a wonderful tool that I found that helps our kids be really hands-on and also build a lot of minds-on relationships for our students. It's called a Math Rack 20. It's also known as a Reckon Rack, an Arithmetic Rack, a Counting Frame. It's got lots of variations. It was originally designed in the Netherlands and it was called a Reckon Rack. And the translation over to the United States has, has created lots of different variations of that name. I want to take a little bit of time today to show you how the Math Rack compares to a traditional uh, manipulative that a lot of us use in our classrooms. And that's the, the cubes that we're all kind of used to. So if we have these cubes and we're asking a student to show the number seven, for instance, when they're showing seven, they count out one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right? They get a lot of practice with the counting and they see that seven is seven things, but it really doesn't build any more mathematical relationships for our students. So in recent years, there's been an introduction of what's known as a 10 frame. So as students are using these blocks, they're putting it inside of a 10 frame. So let's take a look at that really quick. So they're putting these in, they're still having the practice of counting out the seven things. But now once they have these seven things, they can notice a bit more about the relationships surrounding the number seven. It is seven things, but it is also five things and an extra two more. Or it's seven, but seven is three away from filling a 10. The numbers five and 10 and how numbers relate to that are really, really important in our number system. So this is an excellent tool, but as teachers, we still have the hassle of getting all of this out, getting them to the students, finding extra ones underneath the chair when they're all done, or students making the towers out of them. So instead, what I've started using in a lot of the classrooms is what's called a Math Rack 20. This takes those cubes, in the form of these beads now and has them all in one nice container for us and it has up to 20 because it was designed to help kids get more advanced strategies when they're doing addition and subtraction facts. So we're going to spend a few minutes here taking a look at how we can build students strategies for addition using this. So if we have the numbers 8 plus 6, we're doing that. What kids tend to do when they first start to learn how to do addition is that they would count out 8 cubes, they'd count out 6 cubes, and then they push them all together and they have to recount all of those cubes. One of the things that they start to do as they progress then is to be able to hold the 8 in their head and then they count on the 6 right, to get up to the 14. This is a strategy, unfortunately, that kids still in middle school get stuck with. That if they can't remember what eight plus six is, they start doing that just to double check really quickly and they can't get past using their fingers. Instead, what we would really love is for kids to have some more advanced strategies. If we're doing eight plus six, we'd want them to think, that's like, oh, that's like six plus six, they're doubles. They know they're doubles really well. So it's like six plus six and an extra two. Or we want them to learn that idea of make a 10. So if it's eight plus six, I've got my eight. If I add two more to it, that would make a 10. And then I'm left with four. But these strategies are really abstract to kids. They don't see how the eight plus six transforms into these other variations. It's just like speaking a different language to them. So the power of the math rack is that it gives a visual of those strategies. So let's do our eight plus six. They can quickly grab the eight by knowing that it's a five and a three more. When they grab the six, they know that it's a five and one more. Then when they go to add with that, they can see lots of different things and it's totally dependent upon what the kid is seeing. One of the more popular things that we see kids doing is they say, oh, I see the five and the five that makes the 10 and then I've got three and one more makes the 14. Another thing that kids like to do is having everything match, not just the reds, but everything that matches up, which essentially is our doubles. They get six and six and then the two more. Those kids who like to make a 10 see it right here in this top row because they want to fill a row. So they push over two beads, but I can't just add two beads. They have to take them from somewhere. So they essentially take two from the bottom and move two over on the top, and that creates the 10 and the four more. 
So that's the power of the math rack, is taking those abstract strategies that we want kids to learn for addition facts and turning them into a visual picture that kids can have in their mind and they don't need their fingers anymore.